Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Uh, my first stops are to where it is snowing now, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, and the low is still developing, so the snow will intensify, but it's snowing at Wolf Creek right now. You're in that 6 to 12 inch band down there as far as a grand total goes. Let me take you to Taos. It's been snowing off and on. Still snowing there, windy at times, but really waiting on the development of this, uh, this area of low pressure and better precip. In fact, let me show you radar out of Pueblo, Colorado. You can see the flow. So the movement is all from the south at this point, moving the precip from south to north. As the low develops in southeast Colorado, it helped to fill in some of this precip over northern New Mexico. So we're just kind of getting started here. It'll snow into the day tomorrow as well. Um, let me take you to my bullet points here. So that's the only game in town. That storm that's in southern uh, Colorado, northern New Mexico through 1214. Outside of that, you have to start to ask the question, uh, well, what's next? I mean, we're in this western doldrums pattern. So looking down the road, there is a trough that approaches California. Um, late 1217 to 1218 was some snow for the Sierra from Mammoth to Tahoe. But I'll tell you, it's probably going to be pushing precip into very warm air. Um, I don't really see foresee a big cold front associated with this, so it's Pacific in nature. Um, and then would probably be it would probably set the stage for additional snow uh, after 1220 as well. Um, in Utah and Wyoming, it's a big waiting game. While there might be some light snow that uh, comes in a little earlier than 1220, I really don't see anything moderate to heavy to write home about until after 1220, maybe even after 1222 or after 1223. So it is a true waiting game. And once the storm pulls out of Colorado, it's a waiting game for Colorado as well on a similar time frame, timeline. Looks like a pretty strong low that's going to come out of uh, Florida, 1217, and develop, run up the East Coast with wind and rain. Unfortunately, th th it's not associated with a giant trough. We don't have a lot of uh, cold air to work with. So it'll all be rain initially in all the ski areas through 1218, and then it will change over to snow, likely on 1219. As the storm comes to an end, it pulls the cold front through. So that's the way that's going to shake out. Let me take you back, and I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery. So here we are, and, and I'll point out the low. Here it is in northern New Mexico, southern Colorado. That is the same energy that's going to dive down into the Gulf and Florida and eventually become that stronger area of low pressure. Um, also, this is another player in the forecast. This area of low pressure and its associated trough here will basically move into this area and set up shop for a few days. And then eventually that's what's going to push precip into the Sierra late 1217 and 1218. And that will help to set the stage for some additional... Uh, storm systems through Christmas and thereafter. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the current state of affairs. You can see the snow in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. It begins to spin a little bit more into tomorrow morning and still snowing tomorrow afternoon and then the low breaks up and it moves away. And then this, we're into this waiting game here. There's not much going on outside of BC and Banff at this point. You can see some streaks of snow up there. But here comes that trough approaching California. So by late 1217, you can see the precip come in. And again, it runs into a lot of warm air. Um, and then, you know, it, it's going to be a pretty high rain snow line with this. But that's the, that's the first or next best wave of precip for the Sierra after what's been a very long stretch of below normal precipitation. All right, jet set up. This is 1217. You can see the trough approaching California, but all the cold air is still locked up into Canada behind that polar jet. This is way out there, 1222. Again, there's really no cold air here. Most of the cold air is up into Canada, but there's a lot of southern branch support here in this run. Earlier this morning I was looking at there wasn't nearly this much of a southern branch playing into this forecast, but there is more here which is possibly, this could possibly lend to the idea that once we get past 1222, we may see things turn more active for the West with areas of low pressure just riding that southern branch in. Yet to be seen, but a possibility. All right, let me look at uh, totals here. So through 1215, all the actions in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. So take care of, uh, take, take advantage of that if you're looking for new snow. Uh, otherwise, you'd have to fly up to BC and Banff to get in on some of that action. 
All right, here's phase number two. This is 1216 through 1222. Again, you can see a little bit of snow from Mammoth up to Tahoe and just a tiny bit for the interior. I, I mean, again, anything before 1222 in the interior is very light and nothing to write home about. You're going to have to wait until after probably 1223, um, to be perfectly honest. All right, looking at the East Coast, a lot of jet support here. This is 1217, very late in the day. You can see there's a well-defined area where that low is going to be set. It's going to be sitting, and, and it's going to be supported by uh, this jet energy. But again, it's all moving into a very warm air mass initially. You'll have to wait until 1219 for the changeover. And here is that forecast radar on 1218 in the morning. It's all rain in the lower 48, 99% uh, of it. Um, and then as far as numbers go... Um, what you see here falls on 1219 after we see the changeover, and a lot of it is in northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine, and parts of New York State. So that's where I expect there to be some accumulation. And then the, those numbers have trended up just a little bit for Stowe, Sugar Bush, Mad River, J Peak, and Whiteface. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update, this afternoon update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.